Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the cashier's name on the receipt. Uh, when you get an online order, you'll notice that you'll have a cashier's name on there. For example, in this scenario it says Alan Rust. It usually says the owner's name, the administrator's name, or um, somebody that originally installed the Smart Online Order app. Let's say you want to change this name to somebody else like Online Orders or Internet Orders or um, Kelly Smith or any name you want other than, other than the administrator's name. You can easily do that. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you need to do is you have to go to Clover.com. Remember, uh, when I say Clover.com, make sure you do it from your computer, not from your Clover station. So go to go to your laptop or computer, go to Clover.com, and then log in as the employee right here. Click on the employees. And then what you would do is you would make a new employee. If you want the online, the cashier's name to be completely different from any employee you currently have, make a new employee. If you want the cashier's name to be an existing employee, then you can uh, just press the pencil here. And the reason why you're pressing the pencil is so you can edit it and give them a username password so they can log into Clover.com. Most merchants that I speak with, they usually make a brand new employee, and I recommend that step. So in this, in this example, I'm going to show you how to create a brand new employee. So click on this button here, add new employee, and then it will ask you for the name of the new employee. You can give it any name you like. You can call it online orders, internet orders, website orders, John Smith, John Doe, whatever name you want. Just remember that whatever name you put here, <clears throat> this will be the new name on all the receipts that prints out. So make sure it's something that you that uh, you will be able to understand and expect to have on the printed receipts and on the online receipts. <clears throat> okay, so now give it an email address. Again, these are examples I'm just showing you. So you can give it um, something completely different or make up an email and open it on Gmail and just, just make sure that you have that email address on hand so you can log in with that employee. Once you create the email address, the next step is to log in with this new employee. So here's what you would do. You log out. Basically, you log in out as your current setting. You're going to log out and log in as this person here. So once you log out, you're going to go back and log in. Now I'm logging in as a new employee, which is onlineorders at gmail.com. Again, this doesn't exist. I'm just making this up as an example. You can have yours as whatever email address you have. Okay, so once you log in, you're going to go ahead and open up the Smart Online Order app with the new login. Open it just one time. Once you do that, you'll be shown this page here. All this page is doing is refreshing the cashier's name because now that you have logged in with the new employee, the system is saying this is what's going to print on all the receipts from this point forward. So once you open it, just close this page. Now it will update the employee name uh, with this new cashier's name, the one called Online Orders. Again, if you want to change it to some other cashier's name, just repeat the same steps over again. In other words, uh, all you're doing is logging in with a new employee and opening up the Smart Online Order app and then closing it. That refreshes the settings, so now the name has changed. Okay, uh, hopefully this video proved helpful. Uh, again, you can search YouTube for additional videos and information. Thank you so much.